good, beautiful people. How y'all doing? Good. What's good? Happy Friday. Man, it's beautiful out here, it's so man. Nice Sunday, man. Look at that sun right there, man. Look, look, look at the hot, man. What? Look at God. What? Look at, man. I don't know if y'all saw that, but it's beautiful out. You know, it's it's not going to be too many days like this left, but um. in December, for sure, it's about to get cold, so enjoy it. Mother Nature, if you ain't out here, you ain't doing nothing, man. man. What are we talking about today? Man, we talking about time. We talking about the importance of time, how we can't waste our time, you know, and, and time, time is basically an illusion. And, and we got to understand that we've all been forcefully subjected to the Gregorian calendar, you know, by Europeans. And we know that it's really not the year 2022 or 2021, you know, because that's predicated off the, off the myth that jesus died 2021 years ago and we know the earth has been in existence way longer than that so we're not going to get into that right now but i do want to talk about the importance of your time you know because time is of the essence and right now it's not on our side so we can't afford to be hanging around people that's wasting their time you know so we got to continue growing we got to continue learning every day and doing what we need to do and see what like at the end of the day time is our new currency yes so if you're not focusing on every second of the day every minute of the hour investing your time in something that's benefiting you that's good that your future self will thank you for then you're wasting your time period i recommend this movie called in time it's featuring justin timberlake it came out some years ago but it's a really really good mu good movie that gives you a good depiction of how time is literally their currency you right know? They can only live for a certain amount of time and yep. it's deep. You gotta watch it, man. But yeah. right now, it's of the essence, like Babe is saying right now, man. And yeah. you gotta be around people that's helping you to grow. Right. We always say grow or go, but this is the, the final hours, you know. Right. Tell them, babe, you're looking yeah. into it, man. And, and, and you know, hanging around people that's wasting their time, like one one thing that, that I know. People love to waste time. You know, people love to there's only twenty four hours in a day. And most right. people gotta work an eight hour job so really there's only 16 hours a day because you got to sleep for eight hours you know so boom 16 hours of that and then you um most people got to work a nine to five mm -hmm. so that's another eight hours so boom that leaves you with eight and that doesn't count the time that it takes you to, to wake up get ready drive to work the time it takes you to um get yourself together get, get home get back so that's you could just say that's another two hours so that leaves you with like six hours mm -hmm. you know so you got to really be constructive with your time, you know, and if you got goals and things that you're trying to achieve, you can't afford to be around people that's wasting time. And the main thing that I focus on is I could tell by it, what, what you doing, by what you do with your free time lets me know whether you're going to waste my time or not. Ooh, say that you know, again. Say that again. I can tell by how you, what you do with your time is going to tell me whether you're gonna waste my time or not. Period. Period. It's like that. But nah, real talk, at the end of the day, the elite, they're every everything in this world is attention seeking. They want our time. Mm -hmm. All they want is our attention, right? That's all this world, whether you're on social media, whether you're talking to people, your attention is everything. Yes. So whatever you're giving your attention to, it's consuming you. Like I said, what yes. you consume consumes you. So at the end of the day, if you think the time is just going to always be here, time is always going to be on your side, you're going to look up one day and it's going to be too late to start your business. It's going to be too late to meet the love of your life. It's going to be too late to get in shape. Whatever you got goals, whatever goals you have, start today. Start now. Yeah. And that's the biggest misconception. People think that you always have more time. We don't know when the last day will be on this crazy world, this crazy earth. Right. Like I said, well, yeah, we've shifted to the next dimension. <clears throat> And here in the next the next month, I say by the beginning of 2020, shit about to get super real yeah. as far as timing. So get it together, y'all. Y'all know we we like to repeat ourselves with certain things, but we want y'all to understand that things are shifting. Mm -hmm. So it ain't no time to be wasted, man. And, and the, the this is so passionate to me because I used to hang around a lot of people that used to waste my time, hanging around a lot of losers. And what it did was it stunted my growth. Like, I feel like, honestly, I would have been at this point in my life years ago if i would have cut off these losers you know so basically i'm by me associating myself with people that like to drink with their free time play video games like to fucking just do shit talk about irrelevant shit that don't matter so that 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 uh hindered my growth you know and it wasn't until i cut these these uh 
I'm gonna just say these low vibrational, uh, low vibrational, uh, time wasting, time wasting people. I, I couldn't, I couldn't even reach my higher self. I couldn't think to the capacity that I think. I couldn't prioritize because I'm so worried about uh, hanging around people that don't have my best interests at heart. So, and people have to understand that the elite, they also control time. If you still don't know that. These people control the weather. They can control the time. Like he said, we're yeah. living off the wrong calendar, the Gregorian calendar. What's yeah. the original calendar that we were supposed to live? I forgot the Man, name we, of it. We, we go by the stars, the astrology, the sun. You know, they, they, they what what they did was they took the seasons and the rotation of the sun, the orbit, and, and they divided it into seasons. Like, you know, but we, we, we lived in the present moment. We didn't have a thought process of the future mm -hmm. or, 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 or in time. Like, we just calculated the sun. So that's all we need to know and, and in the end of the day we got to understand that everything that we was taught by the, by these caucasians was a lie is an, an illusion so and time literally is an illusion they're literally i made a video about this a uh, long time ago when i had my my old channel back in the day but there only is the now and it sounds mm -hmm. like it's confusing but when i broke it down if you think about it you can predict the future by what you do now that's why I said do something yep. to make your future self happy because whatever you do now is your future. Right. When you, whenever you plan for it, when you look up, that's going to be the future, and the future will be the now. There's right. never a such thing as the future. You feel right. me? Because the future is just <laughs> look your, that digest, the man. future is just your anticipation of what's going to happen next, there and the go. past is nothing but memory. So the only thing that's really matters is the present moment you know the present and, and just think man when you in the present moment when you having fun time just flies when you in a boring ass classroom or when you at work time going slower than a motherfucker so yeah you know what i'm saying that just shows that time is, is an illusion and, and you know what I'm saying in plain sight. So. And I'm still confused at this point. I see people still worried about the dumbass versus battles and people still worried about celebrities and Man. people talking about dumb shit at this point. I'm just Man. confused. Like, how are you still focusing on a celebrity or another person, another entity outside of yourself? If you haven't found your higher self or your goal in life, your purpose in life, this is earth school. We all came here and we signed a contract to come back to the school to, to basically hire our soul, to, to learn our lessons that we didn't learn from our last reincarnation. You feel me? So if you're still worrying about other people Man. and celebrities, you're not using your time wisely. You're wasting it. Those people are not worried about us. Oh my God. If we die right now, <laughs> do you think they would give two bucks? Hell no. Man. We got to cuss because y'all people, our people, it'd be scaring me sometimes. It's like, yo. Man, listen. <laughs> this thing, if we, if we, this picture, imagine we overthrow the government, right? And we got to rebuild society, all right? Like, on one side, we got bad bitches. We got hood niggas, <laughs> celebrities, uh, motherfucking alcoholics and uh, strippers and just all the people on one side. On the other side, we have doctors, carpenters, philosophers, electricians, people who can operate large machinery. We we got who 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 are you gonna choose to rebuild this? Who who is more important? Who has more value? You know what I'm saying? The let the, come on, I man. I hope you wouldn't be thinking about Cardi B or none of those shit like that. Well, man. I hope you would want to be around some intellects, some intellectual man. people who actually read and use their brain. It's like at the point in this world right now, you feel like you're a, a superstar because you read. You know Man. what I'm saying? It's so hard to get our people to read a book. And it's like, it's truly sad because when we were slaves, when we were physically slaves, they wouldn't even let us read. We just got done watching The Birth of a Nation about Nat Turner, man. It made my son break down because it's a powerful mm -hmm. movie. Our people out here got to focus on what's important. It's really sad to me because time's a ticket. Yeah. And it's not even a scare tactic like, oh, I got to hear it. But you got to start moving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if you're focusing on anything else outside of yourself, then it's like you're going to be lost in the sauce. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's and that's that's real, man. We don't black. I mean, I ain't even gonna say black, but melanated First of people. All, we ain't black. That's yeah, speech. yeah. I'm gonna just say melanated, melanated people. We don't we don't culturalize intelligence. Like we don't make that something that's part of the culture. Like we just look at people like, oh, that nigga thing. Oh, he. As soon as somebody start eating right and reading books, like y'all just look at them like, oh, you talking white. Oh, you acting funny. You all. Mm -hmm. But but it's like, in the end of the day, it's like, damn, like. You know why? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you support somebody that's trying to better themselves and uplift their family? And you know, what I'm saying yeah, that that got their head on straight, man. Like, and, and you know, we become so toxic as a people that when somebody is moving right, it's like it just does something to your spirit. Like, you just can't take being in the presence of somebody that's 
moving right, and being can, righteous. Yeah, you can see it in the state of the world. Like we just came back from Subway real quick, grabbed some little flatbread veggies. And the world is just so unfriendly now. It's oh, like, it's man. scary, man. People, you say, how you doing? To a cashier, they won't even speak back. They'll look right at you and just be like, I'm like, <laughs> hi, how are you doing? It's like, what is happening right now? Man. And what it is, is people are on demon time. Speaking of time, people have literally lost their common courtesy. It has mm -hmm. went out the window. People have threw their brains out the window. Man. And what it is, is you're not using your time wisely and you're really mentally unstable right now, man. Yeah. It's truly sad. Like, we love the whole world and we just really want people to understand now is the time to reach your highest self, man. Yeah. Get into spirituality. Do things to make yourself feel better. Meditate, man. These, these people ain't meditating, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and we're we not going to make this too long, but the point of this was just to tell people that we cannot continue to waste time yes. you know we got to get on our ship and sell out because where you dock that will be your demise you know so we gotta we gotta really we gotta really um take into account how we spend in our time because it's, it's really um it's really not a game right now in the world you know so period even even though people even though when you get on social media <laughs> All you see is people joking and laughing and talking about shit that's irrelevant. Like it's really, it's 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 really um, it's really sad. I mean, even if you're still investing more than like an hour or two a day on social media, then it's it's, it's all bad because you're addicted. Man. And some people think they're very intelligent, but they can't even take a break from social media. You're not. I'm sorry, you're not. And I hate to say this because you cannot live in this new world and you're addicted to social media. If you yeah. guys only knew that Mark Zuckerberg, literally, you can look on YouTube and he literally says it out his own alien mouth. <laughs> look at this man's eyes. Him and Biden are clearly been taken over by aliens. Man. If you don't believe in aliens at this point, then you're completely lost. I'm sorry. Hey, listen, but that's another video. Uh, that's another be, video for another day. Stories for other days. But just to sum this up, man, like he said, we're going to keep this short. Use your time wisely. Time is the new currency, man. We ain't going right. to ramble, but we love you guys. Figure out what you're going to do with your time. Like he said, who you going to be around, man? Yeah, yeah. And we got to, hey, this is this is a link up with people that's like-minded, that think like, you know, that's that's trying to move forward. You know, that's preparing to go off grid or out, out the country, preparing to leave the system. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But we got to start getting phone numbers, getting emails, getting, and, and just start preparing, and you know? And stop being scared to reach out. Our people do not like to be helped. Like I said, you only, it's not even about money or anything, but you can reach out to people. If it's not us, reach out to a counselor or a person who has their, their mind on right. You should not just be sitting here mentally going insane, watching the news every day, scared man. every day, just in toxicity. That's demon man. time, man. You got to get out of that demon time. Get on that, that heaven time, man. Come on now. Yeah. So let's get it. Let's get it. Just one day at a time, man. We love y'all. Peace.